Good afternoon. I'm Mary Esther Reed, the mayor here in the town of Smyrna, and on behalf of myself, the town council who includes Vice Mayor Mark Adkins, H.G. Cole, Tim Morrell, Lori North, Raquel Peebles, Steve Sullivan, and our town manager, Harry Gill, we'd like to welcome each of you to our community. I'd like to acknowledge and thank our state senators and representatives, our county commissioners, town officials and employees, first responders, citizens, and members of the press for all being here today. On June 2nd of last year, the town of Smyrna and this country experienced a devastating loss. While preparing for the Great Tennessee Air Show here in Smyrna, Blue Angels pilot, U.S. Marine Corps Captain Jeff Coos lost his life when his jet went down during a split S maneuver in practice. Immediately following the crash, the first responders that you see here around the room did what they're trained to do. They responded. Multiple agencies worked together on the scene. The town of Smyrna is eternally grateful to each one of you for all that you did on that day. The day after the crash, our citizens were in shock. The Blue Angels have become a part of our community. They may not live here, they may not be stationed here, but the town of Smyrna considers them one of us. If you've lived here in Smyrna long enough, the air show featuring the Blue Angels is one of the events we all look forward to. No matter your age, when you hear those jet engines begin to rev up, the excitement builds. And you'll see people all over our town watching the Blue Angels take flight. They are true American heroes who we all feel are invincible. That's why when Captain Coos's plane went down, each one of us were devastated. Immediately following the crash, our citizens reached out on social media to try and make sense out of this tragedy. The one thing they knew was they all wanted to be together to grieve the loss. An impromptu vigil was held that night at Lee Victory Recreation Park where hundreds, hundreds of people gathered together to mourn and honor Captain Coos. When the town received word that Captain Coos's body was being transported from Murfreesboro to Smyrna, and placed on that C-130 for his final flight home. We posted it on Facebook a couple of hours before. I'll tell you, citizens stood in the rain holding those American flags to honor Captain Coos. Since that day, we have had a tremendous outpouring of support for the Coos family and the Blue Angels from our town. Citizens wanted to see this American hero honored. So the town council, Mr. Gill, set up a committee to decide what type of memorial should be done that our community and the Coos family would be proud of. So this committee was made up of myself, town manager Harry Gill, Jerome Dempsey, John Black, Rear Admiral Jimmy Taylor, Kelly Goosetree, Emma Grace Heck, Mike Moss, Amber Hobbs, John Lanza, Jeff Peach, Mike Terry, Alan Brandon, Penny Judd, and Burton Williams. I'll tell you, the committee solicited ideas from the citizens on what they wanted to see in this memorial. So this committee's worked numerous hours to make today possible. I'll tell you, once the committee came up with the idea, I reached out and talked with Christina Coos. She's Captain Coos's wife to get her blessing on this project. I'll tell you, she was overwhelmed with love and support that this community shown her through this tragedy. I sent her the rendering that we're gonna show you today of the memorial and her response was, she was touched, she was humbled and incredibly grateful for what this town is doing to honor her husband's service. The committee felt at this point that we're ready to move on. So today, we're excited to announce the culmination of all of those meetings. The town of Smyrna will create the Captain Jeff Coos USMC Memorial.
We want the family of Captain Jeff Coos and the town of Smyrna to have a permanent tribute to his life that we can be proud of for years to come. This memorial will celebrate the life and distinguished military service of an American hero. Prior to joining the Blue Angels, Captain Coos served in Afghanistan where he earned the Strike Flight Air Medal and the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal. Smyrna has a rich history in aviation. It was home to Seward Air Force Base from World War II through 1971, and our community has a strong connection to the military. It's been home to the Great Tennessee Air Show since 1971. The town of Smyrna is grateful for the FA-18C Hornet, which is on loan from the National Aviation Museum in Pensacola, Florida, and will be on permanent display as part of this memorial. The jet is being shipped by truck from Pensacola and will arrive in Smyrna the afternoon of May 25th, one week from today. We are finalizing the time and the truck route of the aircraft, and as soon as it's official, we'll make it available to the public and to the media. Once the jet arrives, it'll be reassembled and will remain at the Smyrna Airport until it's ready to be put on the permanent display as part of the Captain Jeff Coos U.S. Marine Corps Memorial, which will be located at Lee Victory Recreation Park on Sam Ridley Parkway East. As you leave today, You'll be able to see this location. It's along our greenway, and as you can see here, the greenway is going to run right through the memorial. It'll be on the greenway on Sam Ridley Parkway between the building you're in today and the tennis courts at Lee Victory Recreation Park. We've erected a sign on the site to let the community know exactly where it's going to be placed. The cost of the memorial is approximately one million dollars. Groundbreaking is scheduled for this fall and completion of the project in the spring. We're excited to say, through the generosity of individuals and local corporate partners, we've already raised half a million dollars towards our million dollar goal. <clears throat> this was made possible by the John Floyd Charitable Foundation and Old South Properties, Nissan North America, Topre America Corporation, Steel Technologies, Taylor Farms Tennessee Incorporated, Estes Express Lines, Klein Sweeney, Associates, Excel Energy, Crane Works, Dempsey Dilling and Associates, E. Allen Brandon, John Austin Lee Family, and Daryl Freeman. To each one of you, the community will forever be grateful for helping us honor a true American hero. But our mission's not over. We need your help. We need the citizens of Smyrna, the Blue Angels community, and local businesses to help contribute. The Captain Jeff Coos U.S. Marine Corps Memorial Fund through the Rotary Club of Smyrna is a nonprofit tax exempt 501c3. The different ways to donate can be found on the website Captain Jeff Coos US, USMCMemorial.com. Now we'd like for you to turn your attention to the monitor so we can share a brief video. The U.S. Navy's Blue Angel Flight Demonstration Team has taken Smyrna's eyes to the skies for years. Our ears gotta work out too. If you live in Smyrna or you work in Smyrna, you hear those engines rev up and you know they're getting ready to fly. And you will see people all over Smyrna on rooftops, in backyards, in schoolyards, out to watch the Blue Angels. That heartfelt connection is what made last year's Great Tennessee Air Show so sad. It was as if we lost a family member on June 2nd of last year. Captain Jeff Coos, a Marine Corps veteran with service in Afghanistan, left behind a wife and two small children when he crashed into a field while practicing for the air show. Smyrna will never forget him. 
The one thing we started hearing was, what are we going to do? What are we going to do as a community to celebrate Jeff Coos's life? They wanted to see some type of memorial that they could physically go to. Now it's starting to happen. Jeff Coos's final flight plan is coming into place. The National Naval Aviation Museum is loaning the town of Smyrna a retired Blue Angel F-18 Hornet jet. It will be placed at Lee Victory Park, lit up at night, high above the ground, with Jeff's number six on the side. It celebrates honor, courage, commitment, and excellence. We want everybody to feel like this is their memorial. Jeff's wife, Christina, can't quite believe this is all happening. When told of the project, she said, Jeff was my inspiration, and the outpouring of support from the people of Tennessee has been profoundly humbling. You have all wrapped our family in so much love. We are inspired and we are grateful. This memorial is a wonderful tribute to Jeff's life and distinguished service. I am hopeful it will inspire and encourage the children who see it to pursue their dreams as Jeff did. But right now, all it is, is a great idea. We need your help, whether it's a dollar or whether it's a million dollars. Um, we want you to feel like this is your memorial along with Captain Jeff Coos. Mayor Reed believes this million dollar project should not be Smyrna's dream, but instead Smyrna's duty. To know that there's going to be something long after I'm gone and every member of this community is gone, that we've left a legacy of the Blue Angels and Captain Jeff Coos makes you feel very honored. I need your help. I hope each of you here today will help us get the word out about this worthwhile memorial. I know with the help of the individuals in this community, this state, and this nation, we can make the dream you see right here a reality. On the table uh, on the right, we will have brochures and a press release available that explain more about the project. For the media, I'll be available over to my left to answer any questions, but to each one of you, thank you for being here and sharing in today. Um, <clears throat> it's been the culmination of months of hard work to each one of you on these two rows, to each one of you on those three rows. Couldn't have done it without you. Each one of you should be proud. Thank you.